Hello, everybody. Good evening. I'm Danny Tippett, lead beauty guide with Limelight by Alcone. And today I wanted to show you a recreated look. Um, I have a picture and I had you guys vote between two different looks and the majority of you chose this look. I will be doing the other look, so if you really liked that one, don't worry. I will be doing that one too. Um, it was almost 50-50, but this one had slightly more votes. So this is the one I'm gonna be doing, and I look a little crazy, cray cray. My husband really likes it, he thinks that was good, but I look a little crazy because I wanted to look like the girl in the picture, of course, gotta go with the theme. So she's wearing her polka dots, and so am I. And she has her hair up and little curled pieces. My hair is not as thick and beautiful as hers, so my hair is just not gonna do that. And then we pulled out David's bandana and put it in my hair. So we're going with the whole theme here, you guys. So anyway, if you are hopping on live, say hello. If you are catching the replay, go ahead and comment replay below just so I can see who's watching. Um, and feel free to share this video if you would like, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first, you can already see I have makeup on um, from my day and I just did a normal, regular, super simple look. Um, but I'm gonna take off my makeup and then I'm gonna restart and show you I'm gonna try to recreate this look as closely or as well as I possibly can. So I'll show you that picture again in a second, but first I'm going to use our Make Off Remover Wipes. These wipes are really, really, they impress me. Um, they're actually called Makeup Make Off Remover Cloths um, because they're, they're thicker than wipes and they're really, really soft. They smell like cucumber, they're like super fresh, um, and they remove your makeup without like burning your skin. I know a lot of um, other, whatever you call these things, makeup remover wipes, burn your skin. Hello Mandy, how are you? But these do not, and they, look at this, like they totally remove your makeup super, super easily. You don't have to scrub. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna try to keep my eyebrows on because unless you guys really wanna see me do my eyebrows, I think that's the like a boring thing to watch <laughs> and it takes a little while. So I don't wanna bore you to death with doing my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna leave them on unless you really wanna see them, let me know. Um, okay, so gotta get that mascara off. But these wipes are super, super soft. They don't burn. And they really remove your makeup well. Like I said, I did like a super simple look this morning. So this makeup look that I'm gonna be recreating, I like to call it the summer glam look. Um, she has full on winged eyeliner beautiful winged eyeliner so we'll see how i can do with that <laughs> she has glowing skin glowing foundation looks super pretty she has um like kind of a simple yet i don't know it it stands out but it's kind of, it's a really simple smoky eye so she has a simple smoky eye and then she has um, red lips and bronzer, lots of bronzer. So I'm going to recreate it. Hey, Jamie, how are you? I'm just taking off my makeup from the day. And I'm gonna recreate this look. Let me show you guys one more time before I get started the look that I'm going to be recreating today. So I kind of like, stuck with the theme. I'm trying to look like her all the way <laughs> with the bandana, the polka dots, the curls. So we're trying to, trying to look like her. So I'm going to get started recreating this look. So make sure my face is dry from that. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jamie. Yeah, we had to find this bandana. Like David was like, maybe I need to pull out my magic. <laughs> he has... He's so cute. He um, 
like he taught himself magic when he was younger and so now like every time my family has a family like get together or whatever they always tell him to bring his magic so he can do magic tricks it's the cutest thing ever anyway um he's actually really good at it too okay so i'm just gonna start with our first base primer wow that's not focusing our first base primer it is obviously you can see in a spray bottle it's a super fine oil free mist and um, you spray it on your face it's a vitamin based water based primer so the vitamins in this primer are super super nourishing for your skin super good for your skin um, and it helps reduce redness and reduce the size of your pores over time most primers are silicone based which you don't really want they're not really good for your skin um, because it's just filling your pores with silicone um, and actually a silicone based primer will not work with our foundation just because of because our foundation is wax based so if you get our foundation you definitely want to invest in the primer it is so good for your skin and it works so well to keep your makeup on all day and give you a super beautiful smooth application so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray my face with the primer I'm gonna do a few squirts Okay, and then you just want that to set in for a second. While that's setting in, I'm going to kind of touch up my brows because I think I wiped a little bit off when I did the make-off wipes because, you know. So I'll show you how I do my brows, kind of. Um, but I use setting spray, our brow tamer brush, and an eyeshadow. So it's super simple. Um, our brow tamer brush has two sides. It has the liner side and then the spoolie side so that you can brush your brows out. I use the setting spray to spray onto the liner side of the brush just to get it damp and to um, it helps your eyeshadow have a really good consistency to um, fill in your brows and it also um, helps your makeup stay on um, so I'm gonna use this color right here it's La Vida Mocha but I can help you find a good color for your brows I'm just going to Feel like I wiped off some over here so it also is like a super natural look with the eyeshadows because it does it is a softer look um, so I think that it's a lot easier to make them look more natural when you use an eyeshadow it's also very affordable so and it's multi-purpose like I use this eyeshadow for my eyes as well you know I don't just use it for my brows whoa whoa okay so this was probably a bad idea to do the whole hair thing before I got on here um, <laughs> that's okay I'm just trying to look like the model okay so next um, that primer is all nice and set in now this during this time that I've been talking to you I've been warming up my foundation I just um, hold it underneath my leg while I'm talking to you or while I'm doing the rest of my makeup if I'm not on a video. And you might be able to see. It comes in this compact, it's a wax based foundation. You guys, this foundation is incredible. It is the best foundation I've ever used in my life. It's amazing. Um, and it is a wax based foundation. That's why you need to warm it up. It works a lot better, it's a lot easier to work with when it's nice and warmed up. Now. This is our blender full sponge. This is what I use to apply the foundation. It is the best, the best sponge in the world. <laughs> it is um, a micro porous sponge, so it's not going to soak up all your foundation into the sponge. You don't have to worry about losing a bunch of product in your sponge. Um, it's also latex free and it's super, super bouncy and soft, so it's really easy to apply your foundation. Um, so like I said, you want to warm it up. You can put it under your leg. You can even rub your finger lightly over the top of it just to get it a little bit warmed up. And you'll start to see it, it gets really creamy, buttery, smooth. Can you see that? It's hard. I know it's hard to see. But there it is. And so I'm just going to swipe the excess onto my face. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the flat side of my blender full, which is super nice about this. Um, sponge is that it has a flat side. It's really easy to apply the foundation with it. I'm going to stick the um, the flat side of my blender full into the foundation. 
I'm going to twist so that the bottom is covered and you can see it's really not that much product at all. And I'm just going to start bouncing it onto my skin. Now this foundation is 50% pigmented. Most foundations are only 10 to 23% pigmented depending on the brand. So this is over double the pigment that most other foundations have, which is absolutely insane. This is professional grade. So this is the best of the best. It's made by RCMA, used by makeup artists, professional makeup artists and celebrities. It's also used on Broadway and in movies, that kind of thing. When you have to have a really nice and natural looking face, you don't wanna look like you have a whole bunch of makeup caked on your face. And it also needs to last a really long time and look flawless for hours and hours. Professional grade, you guys, this is amazing. Okay, so that was one twist into my foundation. I'm gonna do another twist now. You wanna make sure that it's warmed up. So I'm just going to lightly, lightly, lightly rub my finger over the top of it just to warm it up. Make it nice and creamy. And then do one more twist into my foundation with my sponge, you guys. The other thing about it being 50% pigmented means that you only need a small, small amount. This compact will last you a super duper long time, you guys, because you use the smallest amount. But do you see how that covered all of my blemishes and it still looks natural? I don't look like I have a ton of makeup on. It looks like skin. The finish is so beautiful because it's not completely matte and it's not oily or greasy or icky like that. Um, this is oil free, so you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, irritating your skin or anything like that. It, and because it's wax based, that means it's going to sit on top of your skin rather than sink down into your pores, um, which means that all every anybody can use this. Um, it works for all skin types. So whether you are oily, dry, you have mature skin, combination skin, whatever, it will work for your skin, which is super awesome. Okay, and you can see I kind of pat it onto my eyes too. Um, sometimes I'll do my eye makeup first, sometimes I'll do it last, um, whatever. So I just, because I haven't done my eye makeup yet, I pat it on my eyes. Um, so that it kind of acts as an eye primer as well. Um, you can use our concealers as an eye, pr eye primer, um, but I'm just gonna stick with that for now. So, you can see, look at that. Now, maybe I'll use some concealer for a few, for like this spot right here. Some stubborn spots you have to use concealer for. So I have my concealers right here. Sorry, the pan's kind of messy. Um, but I'm just going to take it with my finger and apply it right to the spot. Now, our concealer is actually a beeswax based. Um, so the foundation is a vegetable wax base. The concealer is a beeswax based. So the difference is that the concealer is waterproof, which is really, really cool. And I will actually show you here soon how to use concealer as your foundation. If you're like going to the beach or something and you want your foundation to last. Um, my husband and I went canoeing a few weeks ago. And so I used concealer for my foundation on my whole entire face and it lasted all day and looked flawless. So I can show you guys how to do that as well. Okay, well, there we go. So full coverage, super duper flawless. It's so pretty. This foundation is like out of this world amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna take the setting powder. We have a translucent setting powder and it's super, super light. 
and so it doesn't even feel like you're adding another layer to your skin it just makes your foundation it sets your foundation in place and it gives you a little bit more of a matte finish so I'm just going to take and wherever I put concealer I'm going to put the translucent powder just to set it in place and then I'm gonna also do one swipe on my forehead that's normally where I do powder I don't really do much more than that um, I, ha I have a little bit drier skin so I don't like to add a whole bunch of powder okay so in this look let's start with eyes actually let's go to eyes now okay so in this look, she did kind of like a brown smoky eye. So I'm going to recreate it. First, I'm going to take my all over eyeshadow brush, brush number seven. And I'm going to take one of our lightest colors. It's cream boat right here. It's basically white cream <laughs> and it's a matte color. And I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush and dip it in there. And I'm going to use this to coat my entire eye all the way up to my eyebrow. Um, I like to kind of start with a base for my eye. So I like to do that. You can also use the translucent setting powder to do the same exact thing. Um, so that's just up to you. All right, next I'm going to take brush number 10 this is another eyeshadow brush and it's really great for your transition and your crease so I'm going to take our eyeshadow color taupe for the best these names are so cute it's right here it's this kind of light brown color um, and so I'm just going to take it with my brush you don't need that much and I'm going to use it as my transition color I'm gonna go right here And I'm gonna kind of build it up. You don't wanna do a whole bunch at once because you can always add more. You can't really take away very easily. <laughs> so our eyeshadows are made by the same manufacturer that makes MAC Pro eyeshadows. The difference, and that uh, manufacturer is called Il Maquillage. The difference is that our eyeshadows are one, Leaping Bunny certified, so completely cruelty free. They are also paraben free, and they're also more highly pigmented than MAC Pro eyeshadows. So if you are a fan of MAC Pro, you need to try these eyeshadows because you will be blown away. The pigmentation and the blendability is uh, like completely amazing, completely amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of build it up. As you can see, I've added a little bit more each time because she did make a smoky eye, but I don't wanna add too much at a time, you know what I mean? So next, I'm going to take the same color that I used for my brows. It's this color right here called La Vida Mocha. So it's a darker brown, and I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit, and I'm just going to concentrate it right here in the corner. Now, I'm not gonna blend it yet. I just like to place it there, and then I'm gonna come back and blend it in in a second. But I like to get it where I want it first, and then I'm gonna blend it in. Okay, so I'm gonna take whatever's on my brush off, and then blend this in. The thing is, this smoky eye is not difficult. It's a super simple look. I'm just gonna use these three colors. So Cream Boat, which was that light one I used all over my eye. Then Taupe for the Best, which I used for my transition color in my crease. And then La Vida Mocha, which is this dark brown I'm blending now in the corner and into the crease. That's all. You don't have to do anything super crazy to get a smoky eye. Um, the key is really just to blend and build it up. You want to start small and build it up. And the other thing is the most dramatic part of this look is going to be the um, eyeliner. 
and the lipstick. Those are gonna be the things that totally make this look super glam. Okay, let me take a little bit more cream boat, that first color that I used, and I'm going to put it right underneath my brow, but to also kind of blend this color out. I don't want like a really um, defined line there. Okay, then I'm going to take that first brush that I used, brush number seven, and oh no, it looks like my battery might be dying on my Ricky. I don't even know how to plug it in. Hold on. Oh, it's over there. Okay, sorry, I don't wanna make you see sick. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take our setting spray and then that first brush that I used, brush number seven, and I'm going to, sorry guys, I know I picked that up and messed up the whole world. Um, I'm going to spray the setting spray on both sides of this and then I'm gonna take that first color that I used, Cream Boat, this light cream color it's a matte color and I'm going to dip my brush into it on both sides okay then I'm just going to pat it right onto my lid you see this it's just gonna brighten it up it is a matte color so it's not gonna be any shimmer but it's just going to brighten that up on my lid and then you can blend it out I wonder if I call for my husband, if he'll hear me. David, can you come here? He can hear me. How amazing. Okay. And I might take a little bit more of that dark color in my crease. So my Ricky is dying. <laughs> um, I no, I just don't know where we put the cord. I didn't have the cord that will match. Oh. Oh, actually, I know exactly where it is. Here, it's out here. He's my assistant. No, this is the one for the Ricky Love. I don't know. It's in that box. Okay. Sorry. I'm just adding a little bit more of that dark color to the corner. crazy how green my eyes look I mean I don't know how fast this Ricky is gonna die no like I'm just saying it could last this whole video and I don't even know it but okay adding a little bit more darkness here and like I said you want to blend it out these brushes are super super awesome because the bristles are synthetic hair which means that they're super soft and they're gonna last forever as long as you take care of them and then the handles are metal so they um they help with better control they're weighted okay so let's move on oh it just died it's okay i've got the cord that's really funny. Ew, look at the difference. You guys, if you do anything where you need to do videos, like on online, you need a Ricky Mirror. There's a plug right here. I'm gonna just take a quick pause. The Ricky has two USB ports, so you could charge a phone as well. Plug the charger Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you? David, I'm gonna slap you. Boop. Woo! Okay, let it power. adjust. Let it adjust. Okay. There we go, very good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. You guys, this is one of the most important parts to this look. Let me show you again for you guys just hopping on so that you know what I'm even talking about, what look that I'm recreating, let me show you. It's this right here. So I'm doing this dark, bold, smoky eye with 
the super dramatic winged eyeliner, dramatic bronzer and highlight, and then some bright red lips. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. Now, that is like a really dramatic wing, so let's see if I can do it. Um, but our eyeliner makes winged eyeliner super simple. Now it is a liquid eyeliner pen and it has a bristle tip. So, oh goodness, I just dropped the cap. There we go. Um, it has a bristle tip. So you can see these are actually bristles. They're, it's not a felt tip, um, which makes it so much easier because it paints right on. Um, it doesn't run out of ink quickly. Um, it is super, super easy to use. So, it's also smudge proof and water resistant, which is also a really awesome thing. Um, so, let's go ahead and do it. Now, I can't really talk while I'm doing this. And let me see if I can see in my mirror. Um, so, I'm just going to do the best wing that I can. And it looks like she starts all the way at the inner part of her eye and then goes all the way out. So, let me see if I can do this. Whew. Let's see. You guys, I'm doing it. See how easy that is and how precise it is? You can get it as thick or as thin as you want, which is amazing. I'm trying to follow the picture. <laughs> So whenever I do a wing, I follow the bottom lash line, the shape of my bottom lash line, and then I connect. So see how there's a gap right here right now? I'm just going to connect that. This is the most dramatic wing I think I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Okay, that's quite the wing. You think we can match it? But do you guys see how dark and bold it is? Like this is a great eyeliner. Okay, let's see if I can do this eye. Um, sorry if you can't really see, here we go. Okay, I gotta start all the way into the corner. Good gracious. <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Now let me do that wing. Hold on, I gotta match it. Her wings kind of go out like this. Like they don't really curve up too much. They're kind of straight. Um, so that's why I'm doing it like this. I would normally go up a little bit more. What do you guys think? Are they even? Hearts, if they're even, um, 
I don't really want mad faces. How about laughy faces if they're not even? So throw me some hearts if you think they're even. I don't know if they're even. You guys, I can't even tell. Pretty darn good okay so she it doesn't look like she really has bottom eyeliner on hearts yes you guys love me okay thanks um so it doesn't look like she really has bottom eyeliner on besides in the corner so I'm just gonna do a little bit of liquid eyeliner in the corner but I'm gonna keep it on my lash line um, whenever you're using liquid eyeliner you do not want to use it on your waterline because that's gonna soak into your eyeball <laughs> you don't want that so if you can keep it on your lash line then go for it Easy. And it just adds a little bit more, um, I guess, boldness factor. Okay. So there we go. Um, you guys want to see how well this eyeliner stays? Once it's dry, so you saw I put it on my hand um, before I put it on my face, um, to show you that it is smudge proof and water resistant. Nothing on my finger, nothing underneath or over top or whatever. You guys, this does not go anywhere. It is completely smudge proof and water resistant once it dries. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we got the wings going on there. We got the smoky eye. We got the brows, we've got the foundation. Let's do the bronzer and highlight and then we will finish off with the red lips. I'm gonna show again for the people just hopping on. This is the look that we're recreating here. Summer glam, summer glam. Okay, and that's why I look a little crazy. This is just not my normal attire. So she does not have any blush on from what I can see. Um, she just has bronzer and highlight. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm gonna take our brush number three along with our bronzer. I made a customized trio palette with my bronzer, blush, and highlight, which you can absolutely do too. You can also get a duo palette with just two. Um, or you can get single, so you can completely customize anything with Limelight, which is super, super exciting um, and really genius. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take our bronzer, and I'm going to use kind of a lot because she has some bold, dramatic bronzer, and she doesn't really have it in a diagonal form. It's more like kind of straight across, so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to build it up. I don't want to look completely crazy, but I do want to look like her. I want to look like her. So I'm just going to start by like placing it in the area that I want it. She has some bold bronzer, you guys. It's like a nice contour though. And I don't want to blend it too much because hers really is not, not that blended. I don't know if that's on purpose or what. She may have even used like a cream contour, which you can use our concealers as a cream contour, which I've seen people do and it looks really, really good. Um, and it's supposedly really easy, so I'm going to have to try that sometime. But for now, I'm going to use our bronzer. Now, it is, I love our bronzer because it's mostly matte, but it has these few little gold specks in it. You probably can't even see them. They're so tiny and it, they're so subtle. It just adds the prettiest little glow without it being like over dramatic, if you know what I mean. Add a little bit more. And this um, brush number three is super, super awesome for bronzer because you can see it literally is in the shape of where you need to put it. 
which is super cool. Okay, so I got the bronzer. It does not look like she has blush on. And I'm going to do highlight next. Let me grab... I'm going to grab, now normally I would use my highlight blush. This is blush number six. It's called Glowing um, as a highlight. But it's kind of subtle. And her highlight is really dramatic. So maybe I'll take, actually, I'll take a little bit of blush number six, Glowing, as my highlight. But I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take something else that I use for highlight. See how it's subtle, but I mean, it's beautiful and that's what I normally use for highlight. But if we want to go over the top with a pop and highlight, I am going to use a color from our Bare Metals palette. So this is actually an eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow palette, which I absolutely love, especially for spring and summer. They're all shimmer shadows. You've got the pinks, the golds, um, super, super pretty. But I'm going to take this color. It's called Rose Colored Glasses. Look how pretty this is. And I'm going to just use my finger and swipe it. She's got highlight on her nose. Oh man, I didn't do bronzer like other places that she did. Hold on, I'm gonna have to do that. You see this? I'm gonna blend it, don't worry. I'm not gonna look that crazy. But also on her nose. Probably her cupids, but I can't really see. She's kind of at an angle in the picture. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and gently kind of pat it. I don't even really wanna blend it too much because I want it to stay pretty bold. Okay, see that? So it tones it down a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna take my bronzer and do a little bit on each side of my nose and then up here, my forehead to create that shadow because she has a lot of bronzer up there. Holy moly. <laughs> and then it looks like it looks like she has kind of a highlight um, in the corners of her eye. So I'm going to take guys I can't really see anything. I'm going to take that same color that I just used for my highlight. Take that brush number 10. Pat it in there. And just do a light highlight on the inner corner of my eyes. That's going to brighten it up. There we go. Okay, let's do some mascara. So our mascara is the bomb. It is a fiber mascara. It's a one step fiber mascara. So it gives you that extra length and volume without having to do a whole bunch of extra steps. It's also, um, so like the fibers are built into the formula of the mascara. So it's buildable, it doesn't flake. You don't have any flaking, any fallout, um, any clumping. It is awesome. This is literally the perfect mascara. And we just got a new wand um, for it, which I don't have the new wand yet, but I've heard amazing things about it. So I'm really excited to try that. But it's completely buildable. Let's see how her lashes look. I don't remember. Eh, her lashes, lashes are not that dramatic. So we'll see how dramatic I go here. But, and this mascara is only 20 bucks, which blows my mind because to get an awesome mascara, you're spending anywhere from 30 to $40 for a great mascara. And this is professional grade, you guys. Like, who wouldn't pay 20 bucks for this? It's so good. It's so good. I will never go back to another mascara. For real. It's awesome. Okay. But it's super easy to apply. As you can see, you just apply it like a regular mascara. There's nothing to it.
and people have been going crazy about this new this newly designed um, wand which is really really cool I'm super excited to try it now this girl does have mascara on her bottom lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and add that which I do like to add mascara on my bottom lashes. I think it makes them pop. Your eyes stand out more. So if you don't do that, you should try it. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna let that be for now and then I can come back to it if we wanna do a little bit more. But for now, I wanna show you the red lips. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use our Enduring Lip Liner first and then I'm gonna use a lipstick with it. Um, her lips are bright red, bold red lips, you guys. Um, so this is, hold on if I can get it out. Lip liner number four. It's a red lip liner. And then I'm going to be using lipstick number, hold on, gotta get it out of the box, 103, okay? So lip liner number four and lipstick number 103 for this beautiful red lip. Um, I wanna use the lip liner first because I think that it makes I don't have like a really defined cupid's bow so I think using a lip liner I can kind of fake it um, and it also helps your um, lips last um, because the lip liner lasts up to six hours and um, so it will stay on your lips for a really nice long time so I'm just going to start here Now, you can see how easily this is gliding on. It is super, super smooth and creamy. It's not waxy or sticky. Um, it applies super, super nicely. Look crazy yet. Look crazy, look crazy. filling in a little bit you don't need to fill in all the way if you're going to add a lipstick over top like I'm going to do but you can especially if you want it to last a lot longer using lip liner as a base is a really good thing to do because one yes the lip liner itself is going to stay so when the lip stick wears off you're still gonna have that lip liner on but it also creates a really good base like a primer for your lipstick so um, either way Okay, look at this lipstick, you guys. It's like bright red. This is called Paint the Town. Isn't that a cute name for it? Okay, so I'm going to apply that. Oh, I totally got like brown makeup on the bottom of my nose. You guys didn't tell me. Come on, people. If that's not red lips, I don't know what is. You guys, 
Look at that. This is like totally not anything I would normally do. But I kind of dig it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Throw me some hearts if you love it. This is like totally out of my comfort zone. For real. Um, okay, so we've got that bronzer. We've got that highlight. We have the smoky brown eye. We have um, the winged eyeliner. We've got the lashes, brows, and the bright red lips. That's like the signature um, thing of this look, if you know what I mean. Um, like I said, this mascara is buildable. So all you need to do is wait till that bottom coat dries. And then you can add as many coats as you want. Whoops, I just got some on my nose. You can add as many coats as you want. And it will not clump or anything like that. Let me find a Q-tip because I got some on my nose. Just wipe that off. Okay. Um, so anyway, you guys, like, what do you think? I think this is a really fun look, fun summer glam look. I feel like Rosie the Riveter with this bandana on my head. I am not a bandana on my head type of girl. I know some people do it and it looks super cute on them, but I've like never even tried it because I thought I'd look crazy. So this is totally just for show. Hey, Sean. And let me show you the look one more time that I attempted to recreate. Let's, let's show ya, let's show ya. Hold on. Okay. This look right here. I don't know, you guys. I think, I think it's pretty close. Her bronzer, for some reason, it seems so much darker than mine, but maybe when we do a side-by-side. -side, I mean, I could always add some more. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I really, I, I think this was fun. So this just proves that a smoky eye does not have to be that hard. Like, that was not that difficult. I only used three colors for it. Um, and really, this whole look was pretty easy. Um, it's fun to do. And even that winged eyeliner. Like, I got it, guys. That's crazy. And I really believe it's because of our liquid liner. The form, like it's in a pen form, so you're probably used to using a pencil liner. Um, and it's also a bristle tip, so it paints on so smoothly, so easily. And you know what's really sad is I'm going to go to bed in a few hours and take this off. <laughs> it looks perfect, but I probably don't need to be rocking this look while I'm going to work, you know. Um, but anyway, this was fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, or you want to be color matched for a foundation, I am around. I can definitely help you. Um, I can do everything right online. So if you have any questions at all, let me know. Um, you can either message me or comment below here, and I'd love to help you out. If you want to check out any of these products for yourself, everything that I used is Limelight. Um, and so everything that I used is on my website. It's thebeautywife.com if you want to go check it out. Um, for yourself. Let me show you one last thing before I get off. This is our 16 hour setting spray. Um, this is the 10 years younger setting spray. It gives you such a beautiful finish and it truly does make your makeup last all day long. And I don't think that I should use it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I'll just show you. Um, <laughs> I was just going to say like, I'm just going to take this off in a few minutes. So <laughs> I, I don't need it to last for 16 hours, but I'll show you how this is used. It's basically just the same way as you use the primer and I'm just going to spray it right onto my face. Ooh, and you just let it soak in. Um, if you want, where's my, there it is. Um, you can use the blender full and you can kind of dab it in, make sure it gets exactly where you want it. But this seriously makes your makeup last and stay in place all day long. I was so impressed by it. It really, really does work. It's amazing. Um, but it also gives your skin such a beautiful finish. It makes your makeup just look all put together, have this nice, healthy, beautiful glow to it. Um, so I love that setting spray. It is my favorite. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take some pictures and we'll do some side-by-sides and see if 
how close we really got to that look. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. But otherwise, I hope you have a great night. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.